the meaning of quantum physics uh, is really in terms of giving us a new worldview that shows clearly how consciousness can be and is the ground of our being. In other words, quantum physics enables us to uh, see directly that we can make sense of the world only if we base the world on consciousness. World is made of consciousness, world is consciousness, consciousness is the ground of being. Qu quantum physics makes this as clear as daylight. How is quantum physics clear as day? Because quantum physics shows you clearly that science, quantum mathematics, which is, in our belief, the most fundamental mathematics, most accurate mathematical description of nature that uh, we have discovered. Uh, this mathematics shows us clearly that the movement of objects are describable only in terms of possibilities, not the actual events that happens in our experience. Quantum physics calculates only possibilities. But if we accept this, then the question immediately comes, who, what chooses among these possibilities to bring the actual event of experience? So we directly, immediately see that consciousness must be involved. The observer cannot be ignored. Observer is part of the description of the world. But the observer is not included in quantum physics. We can only describe the objects, not the subject. So we get the idea that the subject must be more fundamental than the objects. Consciousness is more fundamental. Consciousness must be the ground of being of which objects are part, but not all of it. And these objects then are, can be described as waves of possibility, and quantum physics succeeds in giving this description very accurately and gives probabilities so that we can do science on the basis of it whenever there is a large number of objects and large number of events. But when you speak of individual objects and individual events, then this very intriguing choice, the word choice by consciousness out of these possible events, the actual event of experience comes in. And so for the first time, science encounters free will. Consciousness is free because there is no mathematical description of the subject in our science. Only objects can be described mathematically and only to the extent that there are possibilities. The question still remains paramount, who is the chooser? And when we see that, then we see that the chooser is free. There is freedom of choice.